story of Bunner Laurie, the man who through his music shows us how he continues to be a musical inspiration and a role model for Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people right across Australia. Bunner Laurie is a much respected elder of the Murning tribe from the coastal Nullarbor of South Australia. His family hails from the Coonabra Mission and he's a Murning wild dreamer, songman, medicine man and storyteller for his tribe and also the Colourstone Band's founding member and lead songwriter. I caught up with Bunner Laurie at 3KND Cool and Deadly Aboriginal radio station in Melbourne and first started off by asking Bunner what year did the Colourstone Band first form? 1977, 1978. How did the name come about for the band? It came about like, you know, I come from the Nullarbor and, you know, my country, the Murning country, and uh, if you walk out there, you will see all different colours of stones laying here in different places, and even the caves will have, you know, different colour stones. And and also that I was told, you know, from my mother and my grandmother that, um, you know, the planets out there, they really look like stars, but when you look up close up, they're all different colours. And, and to me, they're just like big, giant coloured stones out there spinning around. Bunner Laurie is indeed a proud Murning man. His family and traditional culture hold a very special place. And Bunner tells me what life was really like back on Coonabra Mission back in the day. And I only went to grade seven, but uh, grade five, grade six, grade seven, I remember the years um, which I really, which I really didn't like. It was, to me, it was a, it was a bad memory, but, uh, but also the bad, not only a bad memory, but it gave me, it gave me an education of um, realising that um, Racism and discrimination was beyond beyond that was gave me the idea to to write something where I could um, turn it into hope and inspiration. Because when when I I was in grade four and grade three at kind of a mission, when I first heard the the the, the rhyme that I really really love today, you know. <laughs> Tell us about that. Baba black sheep. Hey. So Baba black sheep and I heard the first heard this rhyme and it was just amazing because you know the lyrics and the words and then the poem. I thought, wow. But then when I went to the, the big school in the Sajuna, 25 miles away up, you know, we used to catch a bus every morning, go to school. And uh, I saw everything before my eyes. Um, you know, a lot of our Aboriginal, you know, friends and relatives getting called um, black and boongs and names like that and in, in those days at that time. And, um, you know, I really, did, really didn't like it. But when I looked at that, and it, it made me realise that I could, I could write this song called Black Boy. Dancing like they, people they just request them first up, and we play them at communities 14 times or 15 times in one night. And you know they're, they're just amazing songs, and and no matter where we go, and you know I, I I really appreciate and I love the songs that I sing because I sing it with feeling and I sing it with love, and and I share it with people, and that's one of the things I love all the songs. And once I know that people, you know, benefit from those songs and make them happy and uh, you know change their life, you know it's. All those songs that I write is all my favorite songs. The color of your skin is your pride and your black boy, black girl. Your life is not Back in the day, Aboriginal musicians found it difficult to break through into the mainstream charts. However, Bunner Laurie and his brothers from the Colored Stone Band paved the way for Aboriginal musicians right across the country. In the year 2000, Bunner Laurie was the very first ever Aboriginal musician to be awarded the Australia Council for the Arts prestigious Don Banks Award for composers, honouring Bunner Laurie's outstanding achievement and a sustained contribution to music in Australia. It's amazing because you know, it's really, it's, it's, it speaks volumes and speaks the truth of, uh, 
you know, what, what you have uh, given to, you know, to, to Aboriginal music and not only Aboriginal music but to Australian music as well and uh, the work you've done, it's, it's uh, to be re re you know, rewarded with uh, all that hard work. It's just um, not really sort of pays off but it acknowledges, um, you know, what you stand for. Chasing rainbow, I really love rainbows because just the colour of it and the magic of it, you know, it gets them moving and because there was one day and one time that I caught the rainbow. I saw it come and move and I said, I jumped out of the car and I put my hand out and there it was, got me in my hand. Beautiful, all my hand was like, hey, I can see, I can almost see the bone through my hand, but like an x-ray. So it was amazing, one of the things that I feeling touching the rainbow, so. And yeah, that, and I love singing about rainbows and writing about rainbows too, because in, in my country where I come from, in the Nullarbor, it's lots of those beautiful rainbows created um, in our belief, American people, the whale is our totem, and we, in our belief, the, the whale creates a rainbow too also when he blows out of that big spout, so here it comes. In the land where I was born, where the great Australian bay, the land I love the most, where the emus and kangaroos grow. Many black fellas right across the country, Bunna Laurie is seen as a musical and cultural role model for many young Aboriginal people. And I asked Bunna if he has any advice to pass on to our next generation of young Aboriginal people. Choose what you want to do in your life. You know, if you want to be a musician, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a, a pilot, you, whatever you want to want to be, that it's all out there. And if you if you have a dream, you know, and and, and a career that you choose, well then. All you've got to do is be, be positive, be strong, and be healthy, and uh, be patient, and be determined. And if you balance everything on your journey, you know, my journey is still continuing because I'm balancing it. If you're on that journey, always on that journey, and um, if you're searching for something, and if you don't find it, you know what? If you're on that journey, it's going to find you. There is no doubt one of Australia's finest lead guitarist is Selwyn Burns. Selwyn is also one of the Coloured Stone Band's founding members alongside his brother, Bunner. Selwyn Burns on lead, who's played on the of human course. album, one of the greatest of all time in Australia, and, uh, mm. and uh, so much experience with him. And he's, he's, he's he, you know, he's as well sought after a real guitarist from other bands that envy, envy his, his style and his experience with the guitars. We're like all lifetime members of Colourstone, so he's one of them up there with me and uh, with other members of the band. Bunna Laurie and his Coloured Stone band have been in the recording studio and very busy laying down all new tracks and working closely on the new album, Distant Sun. Bunna has teamed up with sound engineer Ben Eli from the Aussie band Regurgitator and we all sat down in the studio at Ben's house to find out how the creative collaboration process between these two deadly Aussie musicians came about. The day before Paul called me up and told me about Bunna wanting to record, I'd been down at the record shop in Fitzroy and I bought a copy on vinyl of um, Wild Desert Rose and I was listening to it at home on the record player and I was going, oh, this is a good record. And then I got a call from Paul saying, oh, Coloured Stone, I'm looking for someone to record. I was like, that's so weird. I just bought this record, you know. And there then, you go. Uh, you see the ancestors and the spirits working together. I don't know, I just want to How make an album that sounds it? like a classic album, but almost like a classic kind of 1980s, you know, Coloured Stone album, but also make it sound pretty up to date and kind of like current as well. So it could be played on the radio as well as, you know, older, more traditional Coloured Stone fans will appreciate it at the same time. This year marks the Coloured Stone Band's 35 year anniversary. They've been in the studio recording Distant Sun and production has seen Bunna Laurie keeping a solid and strong connection through the use of his learning language in his latest tunes. Cause one day 
someday, one day, we will be together again. What sounds an audience is uh, going to be hearing? Computers and wildlife. <laughs> the rain, the rain, the wind, it's, it's all on the new stone. It's now. everywhere, yeah. To me it sounds really Australian, you know, it's not trying to be American and naturally it just sounds like Australia. Like, I can see the desert, I can see the, the national parks and I can see the, the, the oh, coastline. Yeah. So right. I'll just say, my you're one right. word is just Australia. 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 That's what it sounds like Australian. to me. Australian! Yeah. It's very Aussie, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. Good on ya. All in one. <laughs> Everything. Good on you, mate. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>constantly performing across Australia with his Coloured Stone Band as he travels this great big brown land performing gigs right across the country for the mob, performing in cities and remote Aboriginal communities as he continues his never-ending quest for change, recognition of all Aboriginal Australians. And one day you'll grow up to be a man